destroys the night. Night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Yeah. I didn't know what the album was going to be called. They told me just The Doors, and that's what it was called. It was their introductory album. So Jim Morrison comes in in this awful shirt, a ribboned uh, hippie shirt from Venice, California, that was so already last year. And I said, Jim, you gotta do me a favor, you gotta take that shirt off, I'm gonna shoot you bare. Because <clears throat> it just doesn't work, I'm sorry. And to be honest with you, Jim Morrison was beautiful. And I recognized to sell a cover, if we put his punum on the cover, it's gonna sell album covers. So that giving him like the rock god look was important for me. I saw it immediately that he was the best looking rocker that I had photographed so far. So I did this myself using images and overlapping them and making the print. And I thought they'd really be hip to it, the other guys too, but they weren't so happy being in the background like that. But to me, John Densmore face there is more like an eye. And I saw them more like the brains coming through him. I never thought of them as being diminished because of the size. But they didn't have much say over the look of the cover. So they were shocked. I just remember Jim Morrison telling me that they didn't like it very much. It only sold a billion copies and set him out as a god and icon of sexuality and rock and roll. But then years later, they'd come back and go, oh yeah, that was good. Let's do something like that again. 